All right, spinners and sharks. So I am starving right now. Didn't do so well with the nap, unfortunately. Was going to take one, but it's just super loud in these rooms over here. So I'm going to head downstairs. I think Vagabond's an option. So is Dick's Last Resort. And I do believe there's an Italian restaurant downstairs. So I'm going to take a peek, see which one's available, and then we'll do a review on that. It's the Ace of Vegas. The Ace of Vegas. Before we get started, I just wanted to give a special shout out to our Patreon members that help keep us independent and growing. More on that later. Okay, thought about doing this, but nah, I think I want food instead. Buca de Beppo? It is. Let's go see what the wait time is. Alright, so here's a neat little thing. They have all day happy hour specials at the bar, so if you're kicking it by yourself, sitting at the bar, we can do some good stuff. I think I'll try that Italian margarita. Sounds interesting. We'll have to try that and have some dinner. Alright, I'm going in. Italian margarita. Mm. It's interesting. I think they put an amaretto in it, so it's a little different from a regular margarita. It's not tequila. So it's a little sweeter. Still got the salt. Still got the lime. Very interesting sort of stuff. I think I'd do it again. Easy four out of five. Looks like it's missing something. I can't put my finger on it though, so maybe it's a five out of five. I don't know. I got a menu since your bicep. Appreciate it. Yeah. Thank you. I think we're gonna try the shrimp di valo, shrimp fra di valo. I don't know, I absolutely butchered it. I'll put it on the screen, I'm pretty sure. But we're gonna try the shrimp. It comes with uh, garlic shrimp and crushed red pepper and penne and roasted sauce. It'll be some good stuff. All right, spinach and sharks, here we go. We're gonna try the, uh, we're gonna try the shrimp fra di valo. Mm. That is spicy. It's some good stuff there. The sauce is about the right consistency. Got some heat behind it. Got some garlic in there too. Needs a little more cheese. Definitely needs uh, more pepper over here. Many of you for many? Give me those. But otherwise, I think it's pretty good. I mean, hard four out of five over here for sure. All right, Spinners and Sharks, we're gonna go ahead and try this cannoli out over here. Here we go. That's some good stuff. Another four out of five, super sweet. And you guys know I don't do the sweet and all that. But, mm. got the sugars, good chocolate. It's just too sweet for me. I think it's the only weakness that it has, but four out of five, no questions asked. Good stuff. Well, Spinners and Sharks, I do have to say, for the price of it, Buca de Beppo is pretty good. It's certainly still a chain, and this location doesn't have a huge Vegas flair to it, so the restaurant loses some points there. Also, as a solo traveler, you're gonna end up with quite a bit of food, and you may not want to do a full meal there, especially if you don't have a fridge. As a family, though, it's a nice spot to get a good meal on a budget, 
especially since it's in the Excalibur. And since it's in the Excalibur, it ends up getting a bit loud for my taste, especially at the bar. But if you want a good middle-of-the-road restaurant to eat at, Buka is perfect. It earns a solid 3 out of 5. Alright, Spinners and Sharks, that's it for today's video. If you enjoyed today's episode and found it informative, I'd appreciate a like. And feel free to subscribe if you haven't already. Once again, I want to give a quick shout out to our Patreon members. Guys, it means the world to me that you choose to support me in this way and help me stay independent of YouTube and its algorithm. If you'd like a more direct hand in keeping Ace of Vegas growing, I have a link to the Patreon page in the description box down below. But before I go, I have to ask, have you tried Buca de Beppo in Las Vegas? Do you prefer this one, or do you prefer the one in your hometown? Whatever your thoughts may be, I'd love to hear them in the comments down below. Until next time though, this is Ace of Vegas signing out, wishing you strong hands, and of course, happy spinning you guys. Viva,